Hello everyone, welcome to the new year on the freestyle. Uh, went to go see Woman in Black, and I'm going to tell you, no aliens, no Will Smith. I mean, honestly, it was just a lot of kids getting killed. I, I'm not even sure what was going on. Are you ready for some jump scares? Tagline to The Woman in Black 2, Angel of Death. Directed by Tom Harper. Starring Phoebe Fox, Jeremy Irvin, and Helen... McCorry? McCorry? Mc... Mc... It was the mean lady. Um, basic gist. Uh, the lady in black likes to kill kids. So, some kids flee London during World War II, hanging out with this hot chick, Phoebe Fox. She takes them into this house. Kids start offing themselves. She's all, oh, there's this evil ghost. No one believes her. There's really an evil ghost. And then there's some backstory stuff, but I'm not even sure what was going on. I never saw a Woman in Black 1, but I doubt it would have helped me much, because it just seemed like it was kind of tacked on. She wants to kill kids. That's the plot of the movie. Alright, so this is where I'm going to talk about things that I liked and didn't like about the movie. And as far as likes, I mean, this movie's scary. Like, I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, Oh, this movie wasn't scary. I laughed a lot. But... I mean, maybe I'm just a bitch. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. I'm a bitch, but I was scared. I had to. I was at 90% vision for a lot of it, but like towards the end, I had to take it down to even 95%. So there wasn't a lot of visibility there. Um, as far as other likes, though, the camera work I noticed was really good. Like, I felt like some really good angles, a lot of good moving shots. They conveyed a lot of you know people jumping in front of the camera, basically. But I really, I think the uh, Cinematographer really did a good job here. Um, for dislikes, uh, jump scares out the ass. Jump scares out the ass. Like, lots of them. Lots of them. Most of them are pretty predictable, too. But every once in a while, there was two of them that were, like, really good. I didn't see them coming. Like, one of them was in the middle of people talking. So, those ones really catch you off guard. Um, the movie's really dark. It's hard to see at points. And, uh, like I was saying with the backstory, I had no idea what was going on. I didn't see Woman in Black 1. I, like I said, I don't think it matters. There was, like, other dead kids and some blind guy who locked himself in a building. Like, I don't, I don't know. There was some other shit going on. I don't think it matters. Alright, so this part where I'm going to try and rate this thing. I'm doing it in 1 through 5. Um, I'm a little biased against scary movies. And, honestly, I don't think this one was that good. Like, we haven't reviewed a lot of scary movies, but I'm going to give it a 2. Um, it's not terrible. I probably wouldn't watch it again. But if you're into scary movies and you got some time, like, I would say, yeah, you should probably go see it. Or if you like Woman in Black 1, you might like this one. If you hated that movie, you might like this one. I'm not sure. You know, just see it if you want to. Um, but, yeah, that's going to do it for our review this week. You can uh, comment or like or... You know, tell us, tell us what you would give it out of a 1 through 5. And don't forget to come back next week. We're going to go see Selma. That movie looks uh, pretty amazing. I've heard good things about it. Uh, other than that, uh, have a good weekend. And I'll see you next week, hopefully.